Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is going to be a fun mural. Here we have the background already painted in by Al Rayo. And now I'm blocking in where I want all the large dinosaurs to go. We're putting in um, the brontosaurus here. This I did a rough sketch with my finger on my photo editor to get the proper proportions. For this blocking in color, I just used Mars Black and Dark Green. You could use a brown. At this point, I really didn't know yet what color we were going to paint the dinosaurs. You know, they really do um, appear to be in a lot of different colors. Some on the greener side, like the owner of this uh, mural here actually wanted this uh, T-Rex to have a lot of red tones. So I used a nice sort of auburn color when I put the accents in. So whatever color you would choose to paint these dinosaurs with such a dark color, having them blocked in with such a dark color, the uh, colors that you would use on top will show up brightly and nice. Uh, all of these dinosaurs will be friendly looking. I hope you find them that way as well because this is just for a young boy. It's for my grandson actually. Now another dinosaur right back here and another one down here. So now we're going to put in this, I think it's called the Stegosaurus, the one with the bumpy back. And we'll put the details on later. Right now it looks like a seal. <laughs> That's not what I'm going for. We don't want a turtle either. <laughs> I think it's kind of looking like an otter. Went from a seal to a turtle, now an otter. I'm trying to make a stegosaurus. We'll get this right. Just remember, never give up. And I hope you enjoy all those little noises in the background when I'm talking at times because out in the living room there was a lot going on. Lots of people out there having fun. And I noticed on the stegosaurus is they have like two rows of it starts out with one row of these fins or whatever they're called, like spines or spikes. And um, then it goes into two rows. So you see the back side of one row and the front side of the other. Just adding a little color and texture. The color changes dramatically. We make it more on the green side later. So now I'm putting in a um, pterodactyl, just a little pointy mouth and a little bit of the body shape. I was going to put him flying back there, but I ended up making him laying in a nest up in the tree. Um, their wingspan is really large, so here I'm just kind of blocking him in. And we want a cute little face, nothing scary on this mural at all. So here his face is a bit too short, so I'm extending the bottom lip and then I extend the nose quite a bit to make it a larger face. So let's get the shape of his eye put in here. And all the light colors that I put now on this dark background color show up really nicely, adding texture to the dinosaurs. I will add all the colors and combination of colors that I'm using to create this mural in the description below. That way if you decide you want to paint an adorable little dinosaur mural for one of your young friends, 
or a client, I'll have all those in the description below. Adding to his nose to make his nose much larger, a little bit more of a pug nose. I'm adding a little iridescent gold to the eye here. Putting some creases, wrinkles around the eyes, um, and adding a bit of a bump on the top of his head. And now I'm going to put a sparkle in his eye, a little bit of a reflective light in his eye. He's still looking like a friendly dinosaur, don't you think so? Please leave a dinosaur in the comments and let me know if you're still hanging in here with me and enjoying this tutorial. Having bright highlights on the top of the neck and dark on the underneath will help with the dimension of the neck and then having those lines going in a circular pattern makes the neck look rounded. He's looking pretty cute. So these brontosaurus always seem to be chewing on leaves and branches so let's give him a little branch of leaves to chew on. And of course you want to make sure you have a few leaves and bits of the branches popping out from the other side of his face just to make it look more realistic. And now we're going to add some details into this other brontosaurus here. The look completely changes once the colors and the details are put in. Make sure that you take in your paint in the circular motion going down his neck to give him that nice curvature there of the neck. So I think he ended up looking a little bit like a grumpy dinosaur but he's definitely not scary. I think he's still kind of cute. Totally different looking than the other brontosaurus. I hope you're hanging in there with me. If you've gotten this far please put a dinosaur down in the comments and give me a like and subscribe if you're enjoying this tutorial. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate you very much. Let's get back to painting. So I'm using that iridescent gold color that I used on the brontosaurus's eyes to add that nice special effect. And I'm just going to be working on the details of this beautiful little T-Rex for now. Enjoy! It's a lot of fun when you start to see the mural come together. All the um, animals and all their details and then it starts to come to life. This is fun. I hope you're enjoying it. No scary dinosaurs in this mural. This one I'm actually giving a little bit of a smile. Oh. I missed all that footage. I was doing the teeth and I never did capture any. <laughs> okay, well, so far I've just been working on some of the teeth, just putting, blocking them in there. So here I'm putting a bump on the other side for the nostril that's on the other side of the face. 
and here I'm putting a bump for the eye on the other side of the face. So now we'll put some color in the body of the dinosaur and I'm using that nice, it's a, like a burnt umber but I put a little tiny bit of red in, made it like a really pretty auburn color paint. This is the, this is the front leg, so I am going to accent this front leg, which will have a nice big, you know, big joint here. Okay, and then those hands will be like claws. And then here, this actually is the back leg, so then the belly will go over that because that's the back leg. Now this little, this one that's coming up here is actually going to be really big, like that, and that goes off to the back. I hope you're enjoying this, guys. This is looking pretty funny. All right, now I'm going to get a smaller um, uh, brush to do some more teeth. So I was sitting here talking to you all as I was explaining that I was taking a little bit of brown, and then I look up and I didn't photo any of it. So I was just saying that I... I'm doing a little bit of scuffling here just to kind of um, break up any hard lines you might see. Just scuffling using my finger to smooth it in. And a little bit later, I'm going to make the eyes smaller on the dinosaur. Um, there are two different skeletons that they found of the dinosaur's facial features and some have a large eye and some have small but my son-in-law would prefer me to have the small eyes so I'll be changing that. I'm gonna hop over here to this uh, this brontosaurus's eye and I want to brighten it So here we'll continue adding the color on the body of the dinosaur, the T-Rex, leaving some of the dark underneath, of course, so that it stands out. Are you still out there? Just checking. So the teeth, I had them in very bright white and uh, I wanted to dull it down a little bit. So I took a bit of gray and I dulled that down. Now I'm just adding a little bit of sparkle into the eye. And here adding the light and bright highlights to make that the areas needed to pop and stand out. Now let's add these funny claw feet. They have like two claws on their feet. Really giant claws. Interesting. Just adding a little bit of brown here to the teeth to uh, add some shadow up under the lip. So that iridescent color that I added to the um, brontosaurus eyes, I'm adding now to the T-Rex eyes. I like the effect it gave. It just really helped him pop. So out in the field, I'm going to have some Triceratops and some T-Rex way in the distance. Changed my mind on this little raptor and I'm going to make him a lot bigger and more substantial. This was just a little silhouette I was putting in, but let's get going on this little guy here. I'm going to make him, we'll use this as like the sort of like the outline. just kind of 
blocked it in with the black like they like the black and green like I did the uh, other animals. This little dinosaur ends up being my favorite of all the dinosaurs that I painted on this mural. I think you'll like it too. It's a really cute little raptor. We can learn a lesson here that um, not to get discouraged if you start with one thing and you change your mind on the shape of it. You can always paint over. It, it's just as easy as can be. this sort of iridescent gold that I used on the Triceratops and I just think it's so pretty but just to let you know I'm using it to um, create the, the crease in the leg and I'm using it here I used it here to brighten this up and on the foot I'm gonna bring some down onto this leg but I think this is gonna be a really cool effect for this little dinosaur and I'm actually gonna be adding some green I think I might add the green to this gold, this iridescent gold. Um, it's just really pretty. I don't want too much light here because it is in shadow, but I do want some of the effect of this on there. So I'm just gonna put a bit and then I will um, add some sort of stripes, you know, they're scaly looking skin. I'll add a little bit of that in the, the green just add to the effect of this. Now these little feet are going to have those giant claws so I'm just going to add a little bit of this there. I'll be back with the finished product. I'm adding just a glaze of the green over that uh, gold and it looks so nice. So now I'm just going to add some uh, color and texture and dimension to this stegosaurus and um, he's going to be more green, of course, as you can see. I'm not putting a lot of detail into the feet, on the shape of the feet or the claws or anything like that because they will be underwater. Now I'm going to show you a few snapshots of the progress so far of the dinosaurs. And then we'll be adding a few more different kinds. Okay, Parasaurolophus, I think is what these dinosaurs are called. Parasaurolophus. Maybe I said that wrong or maybe I said it right, I don't know. But we're going to add a couple of these funny little flathead dinosaurs. I'm using a really pretty iridescent blue. It's so pretty. They have a blue on them, the ones that I saw a picture of anyway, but I'm using this iridescent and some iridescent gold to really make them stand out. I needed a little color in this mural.
So here I'm just adding some ripples in the water and a little bit of shadows and reflections in different areas. I continue to work on that a bit more after this. I'm having fun with this sparkly gold paint making the stripes on the back. So my grandson is obsessed with the gingerbread man so I had to put him in the mural someplace and there he is. And once the outlets were put back on the wall and around the area was framed out with this frame, it looked really great. I do come back and add some more things to the mural after this, and I'll show you what we've got so far. I hope you enjoyed this. Come back and see the rest of this, okay? So I'm going to be putting in some more of the little dinosaurs, you know, the faraway dinosaurs all along here and I'm actually going to be putting some more details on the nest the birds in and having some little baby birds popping up there. So to sum it up I'm just going to show you a few of the details of the mural and I will be back to put the final mural out for you to see. I hope you're inspired to paint a fun mural yourself someday and I hope I've helped you in some small way. Thanks so much for watching. Take care everyone. Please subscribe and hit like and share this video and come back. Bye-bye.